Aries. Aries, welcome. Well, I think I'm a little back on track with doing these reads for you guys. So, Aries, um, thank you all for being here. Let's get started. Your current energy is one of compassion. Now, compassion can be many things. And sometimes it's letting your defenses down. Letting people in, but also letting yourself out. So we see that there is a few things going on for you in your current energy. One is communication. We have judgment, the page of swords and the three of pentacles. And what I get from this is it's like you're, for some of you, you felt trapped for so long that you're trying to free yourself in some way and you're working on that. You're working on that sense of freedom. This has come through major choice. Um, it's something that's actually in the works. Your desire is to create something that feels like home. Now, people think home can be many things. Safe, secure, happy, cozy. Many different words come to mind. But the image that flashed in my head is the security that a home gives. It allows you to be. It la it's like a child. When a child's wanting you just to be in the room so that they can play, it's just so that they have a safe place to explore and do whatever. And that's what I get from this home card. The words that I want to use with this particular desire for you. We have the Queen of Pentacles, the Star, the Sun, and the Seven of Swords. The Queen of Wands is your energy. And this home or idea of home Excuse me, I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> Apologize for that. The idea of home kind of sets you free. It fills you with hope, healing, and love. Despite whatever the world may throw at you. <laughs> oh my god. There's a lot of healing that can happen in home, and this is the outcome. Now, healing can be many things. It can be healing a relationship. It can be healing physically, mentally, spiritually. There are many aspects to that. And for this, it looks like it's healing conflict. Conflict between the king and queen of swords. We have all, we have three queens on the table. So this could be that for some of you, this is healing a relationship within a family. For others of you, this could be healing a relationship where there's been words or deeds that have been said or done. This is to bring back the safety and security of that. Well, your counterpart has shown up, the King of Wands. 
clarifying the four of swords. We also have the lovers and the seven of pentacles. This is what is working for you, that you're healing, that this gives you more to show others. We have the king of pentacles, or sorry, king of wands, which is taking and moving forward despite other things that may be blocking you. This is that brave sort of step forward to make a choice, choice with the lovers. But this could also be in a relationship. And to see what's going to come out of that relationship with the Seven of Pentacles, how it's going to grow and the fruit that it's going to produce over time. What you may not see is the Eight of Cups, and it's clarified by the Ten of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Chariot. Now, keep in mind, energies can change and shift. And what I get from this is that you may, somebody may be walking away from this Ten of Cups. These feelings of joy in order to pursue something more solid with the Eight of Pentacles here, something that they can work on, something that is not just emotional. For some of you, this could be that somebody has walked away from this already. And there is this worry whether they will come back. Very interesting. There is happiness to be had. The travel card came out first, and this is about things changing, moving in different direction, where happiness can be found. That happiness can also come through loyalty within a specific unit. But this is what I have for you today, Aries. It's a bit of a different read. It would be very interesting to know if this individual comes back and how this shakes out for you. Feel free to give this a thumbs up or thumbs down. We'll see you next time. Stay safe.